Some things have actually changed within my personal settings as well as the settings in the game that you may or may not be aware of. And with the new Warzone game mode coming out, I'm sure there's a lot of you who are new to the scene that are wondering the same thing. What are the best settings to use? And if you're new around here and you want to make your way back to the channel, consider subscribing today. Join Turbo Nation, make it official and turn on notifications. All right, so let's just get into the video. So we're going to start off with my button layout preset. I have it at tactical flip. This is a setting that I've always used in almost any Call of Duty that's came out that offers this setting. Now, the reason why is because instead of aiming down sights with my L2 and shooting with my R2, I'm going to be using the L1 and the R1. Now, the reason behind this is because it's a lot more responsive. It's a lot more natural as well as far as finger placement goes on the controller. Also, one thing to note is that R3 is for crouch prone and slide. So this will enable you to crouch prone and slide around the map without having to take your thumb off of the joystick. Stick. so this is also beneficial in gunfights just moving around the map just overall movement mechanics this is going to give you a huge advantage and you can also use this in situations where there's enemies that just take you by surprise they come around the corner and you just drop shot to the floor you should be able to win that gunfight most of the time all right so the next thing i want to bring to light is my sensitivity yes i know it's extremely low it's at a four it's very surprising right but sensitivity does not determine how well you perform as a player i know players out there who have extremely high sensitivities and do very well and players with extremely high sensitivities and do pretty bad it's all pretty much what works personally for you and i find that the four sensitivity is my sweet spot if you want to find your sweet spot just go into a private match play around with different sensitivities and you should be able to find what your best sensitivity is and the same thing applies to your aim down sights sensitivity multiplayer mine is set at a 0.80 this is basically that aim down sight sensitivity when you're aiming down sides and your crosshairs are not moving as much when you're aiming down sides this is something that you also need to play around in a private match all right so the next one is your aim down side speed sensitivity multiplier this one is only applicable to people who use snipers or zoom scopes this one is a setting that you need to play around with as well in a private match but for me i just keep it at one i don't really mess around with the snipers in this game so that's why my sensitivity settings are the way they are aim response curve type i just keep it at standard i've tried the linear and dynamic and i felt that standard was the best way to go for me as well as most other players out there and if i can recall pro players also use this setting as well so with controller vibration i have this disabled i've always had this setting off for all call of duties this allows me to save battery on my controller as much as possible it adds more distraction when i'm aiming down sights and i'm engaging in a gunfight and i'm being shot at my controller vibrates and it just throws my shot off so i pretty much want to optimize the focus of my gunfights as much as possible again with aim assist i'm keeping Keeping it at standard i have messed around with the different aim assist modes and i feel that standard worked best for me for weapon mount activation i keep this at double tap aim down sight all right for weapon movement exit i just keep it at disabled all i have to do is just release the aim down sights button and i'm good to go this is a much better option especially if you're trying to flee from a gunfight and they're coming after you it definitely does give you less of a problem to worry about all you have to do is just release that aim down sight button and you're good to go aim down sight behavior is going to be hold this is pretty much a standard for all call of duties uh, equipment behavior is the same thing at hold and use and reload behavior so this is a new setting that you might consider changing depending on what game mode you're playing so for warzone i definitely recommend putting on contextual tap so literally this will just pick up weapons open doors close doors or the way you interact with things in the game instead of pressing and holding on a button contextual tap does the complete opposite all you have to do is literally tap the button and you will be able to pick up items open and close doors much faster but there is a caveat to this and if you're standing over another weapon and you don't want to pick up that weapon and you're just trying to reload you will actually pick up that weapon by accident and this could be very frustrating and cost you a gunfight and you happen to be standing over another weapon but for warzone i highly recommend you put on contextual tap it will help you move a lot faster as you progress around the game when you're looting items and such but for multiplayer i would definitely put on tap to reload just because of the frequency that you come across weapons you are going to have a higher chance of coming across more weapons on the floor depleted ammo switch this one is enabled this one will just pull out your secondary weapon whenever you run out of ammo on your primary all right so for movement my slide behavior is going to be on tap now the reason why is because it's just a lot more simpler and easier to do if you have it on hold your thumb is probably going to hurt after a while and you're not going to be able to play the game a lot longer because of that you want to preserve the way your thumb feels when you're playing the game because that's also going to hinder you in gunfights or your movement speed auto move auto move forward 
forward i have it on disabled because i want to have complete control of my character at all times automatic sprint is going to be at disabled but however if you do have a defective controller and your sprinting button is not working you might want to consider putting automatic sprint or automatic tactical sprint so that's why you would have automatic sprint vehicle camera recenter is the same thing just keep it on enabled all right so for brightness i have this on 50 i don't really mess around with it too much because i'm a content creator i like to mess around with color correction when i'm editing my videos that's just a personal preference but if i were just playing you know and i wasn't doing youtube i would probably put the brightness up a little bit more just so i can see enemies clearer on these maps they tend to blend in really well with the terrain so for safe area this is something i've recently changed i've made it as small as possible this way my eyes don't need to travel around the screen as much when i'm looking at the mini map or i'm looking at the compass it's all right there it's centered in the screen it's very small and it doesn't get in the way of anything film grain is going to be all the way down to zero i'm not sure why you would want to play with a lot of film grain tool tips is also enabled subtitles i personally have them disabled i find them to be a bit distracting you know because when you're looking at what they're saying and the subtitles it tends to take you away from the actual experience of the game and it could potentially cost you a death colorblind type this one is strictly personal i feel like with deuteranopia the colors stand out more they give a little bit more pop and it does actually help make enemies more visible that's why i have it on here even if i'm not colorblind uh you know you could mess around with this settings and see which one's best for you but as you can see disabled is just completely grayed out it's completely flat but having it on duranopia definitely in my eyes makes all the colors pop a little bit more that's why i have it on that all right colorblind target i have it set on both this is going to give you another colorblind filter all over the world and on your heads up display so again this is going to help you see enemies a lot better and clearer now as you can see there is really a difference between uh having it on and off so this is with both and then having it off as you can see it goes back to that flat type of look to it uh so for me personally i have it on both world motion blur just keep it on disabled i don't know why some people have it on enabled it just makes things a lot harder to see especially when you're maneuvering around the map and it's blurred out you might not see an enemy that was there but if it was disabled you can clearly see where the enemy is coming from so that's why i would highly recommend putting world motion blur on off same thing applies to weapon motion blur keep it on disabled now the heads up display this is something that is brand new that was just added recently and i highly recommend you change your mini map shape to the square this one's going to give you a about just a little over 20 percent of more surface area on your mini map and having it on the mini map rotation enabled is also going to be beneficial as well because the mini map rotates as you rotate and you can see more around you as you rotate yourself around the map the map will move with you versus if you didn't have this setting on you're just going to be rotating and the map is not rotating therefore you're not going to be able to see if there are any enemies within your immediate area so that's why i would keep it on enabled all right moving on to audio this one is probably one that a lot of you came here for because this is huge in modern warfare you can hear footsteps pretty easily and it could also work against you and work with you for my audio mix i'm using the home theater setting this has definitely changed since my previous settings video after a little bit more time playing the game i felt that home theater was the best option for me i definitely do hear footsteps a lot more clearer and i can tell which direction they're coming from it's almost like a surround sound type of thing so that's why i I have it set to home theater and something you should consider using if you haven't tried that yet uh, master volume i have it all the way up at 100 so that i can hear everything that's going on in the game and for music volume i have it all the way down to zero again because i am a content creator and at the same time when matches are about to end they do play a little bit of some music just to add to the theatrics of the game and i don't really care for that because i want to be able to concentrate on what i'm doing i want to be able to concentrate on what i'm doing and hearing for footsteps if needed dialogue volume is going to be kept all the way at 100 i do want to hear all the call outs within the map so this is when your character says that there's an enemy at the window or there's somebody crossing the street you know this is definitely going to be beneficial for alerting you of where to turn your attention to when they do these dialogue call outs effects volume is also the 
the same thing kept at 100 this is definitely going to be the footstep sound and you want to keep that all the way at 100 so that you're constantly aware of where these enemies are coming from by hearing their footsteps or when they do things like reload their weapon pick up a weapon all these things in the game that are sound effects you definitely want to turn it all the way up juggernaut music i don't even really care for the juggernaut that much but if i were to have it i guess i would have it at disabled uh hit marker sound effects i'm keeping it at classic that's just my preference i've been playing call of duty since modern warfare 2 so having the classic on definitely gives me those classic vibes uh but you know it's all personal preference at the end of the day you can use whatever you want to voice chat volume is 100 microphone volume is 100 you know these are things that don't really matter as far as helping you win gunfights or having the advantage over your enemies i hope you found this settings video helpful and if you did consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want to make your way back to the channel and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a future video and i will see you guys in the next video peace